So I'm going to be talking about if online poker is rigged. Now, it's pretty crazy how much this question comes up. And honestly, guys, the reason it can feel rigged at times is because you're going to be seeing so many more hands per hour than you would in a live cash game. So the occasional crazy hand is going to come up a little bit more frequent. Now, I'm actually going to break down four or five hands here in Ignition Poker, and you're going to see about 1,300 in winnings just to show you that you can win. Now, obviously, I don't win all the time, but you know I am a winning player year over year. Of course, as I'm getting into this topic as well, if you guys are looking for any good online poker sites, I mean, I definitely recommend Ignition, so I'll have some bonus sign-up and resource links in the description. But yeah, let's get into these hands. Like I said, uh, you know, also if you have any questions or want to just chime in about this topic, feel free to do that in the comments. I feel like 10 bucks was a pretty friendly uh, call for a continuation call, but we didn't get anything. Uh, River card would have been a king, which is kind of a bummer, right? All right, three, nine. I think this one was a fold. I think we're about to see the big hand coming up here. It's going to be pocket aces. We're going to get it all in preflop with the collar. It's pretty sick. I think I thought about raising this, but yeah, no, it was just a quick fold. All right, so here we go, guys. This is going to be the big one. Now, pocket aces, right? <clears throat> I'm in the small blind, and there's always a few different ways you could play this, right? You could you could re-raise, build the pot up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> the thing about doing that and getting, you know, maybe like two or three people calling you, or one or two, is... What I hate seeing is when I, you know, re-raise pocket aces and it's like one of those boards where it's like a two, five, eight board and somebody hits a set on me. That is the worst, right? So, you know, you can always play this however you want. But in this situation, I decided just to go over the top <clears throat> and see if anybody would call me maybe with like an ace king type of hand, like an ace king suited, maybe pocket queens, maybe somebody's got pocket kings, something like that. Um, and that's what I did right here, right? Fortunately, we are going to get a call from player one because he had a big hand. And, you know, I don't blame him for making this call. So this play did work out for us this time. And, uh, you know, we're going to see a monster pot here. Pocket aces versus pocket kings. Good flop for us. Good turn for us. And he's looking for a three outer doesn't get there. And we take down a huge pot. Okay, so the aces over king situation was awesome. Best case scenario for me, and that's why I got the call. Now we get another hand here with pocket jacks, which was uh, pretty crazy, led to big win. So let's check it out. Now this was an absolute crazy hand. You know, I was in the big blind with pocket jacks. So typically, um, I'm going to three bet this if I'm dealing with a raise in front of me, like no matter who it is, where it is. Now this is a six max cash game. So I am always aggressive when I'm playing these type of games. If it was a nine handed game, it may be a little bit different, but honestly, like, you know, I'm definitely going to three bet this. Um, but we were in a situation here where we were dealing with a re-raise. So pocket jacks now, you know, having this raise in front of us for whatever it was like 50 bucks you know, I'm not going to four bet it, right? Because I'm not trying to go all in on this hand. I'd rather just see a flop with pocket jacks if I'm against like, you know, pocket queens, kings, aces, maybe I'm up against ace king. Um, but really what I'm trying to do now is just see a flop with this. And this flop was so insane, right? So um, we saw this hand in a previous video I just did, but I just wanted to break this specific hand down a little bit. And at this point, you know, I'm just in slow play mode, right? Anytime you hit a set, especially with a flop like this, I mean, we got a 3-4 jack. The only hand that I guess, which would be possible, but I'm not sure somebody would call, you know, a 3-bet raise, uh, you know, to 50 bucks with a 5-6 suited. I mean, I guess I could see that hand. If it was me, I would definitely play that 5-6 suited for sure. Um, but right now we're looking pretty good and, you know, I'm just, I'm slow playing this as much as possible, right? So I'm just like making it look like it's almost painful to make these calls. You know what I mean? Just playing super sneaky, kind of funny, honestly. All right. But yeah, I'm, I'm just going to like wait, wait out the time clock a little bit here. 
was trying to milk it. And, you know, I was praying that player four would make the call, right? I mean, I want to see both these guys in the hand. I don't want anybody to fold. Um, you know, best case scenario for me, maybe somebody hit a set at this point, maybe three or a four. Uh, obviously, if they had a set of fours, we're not looking too good right now, but they'd have quad fours. But at this point, man, I'm feeling pretty good. We got the full house. There is now a hard draw out there, which is uh, pretty good, too. So if anybody's on a hard draw, maybe they're going to bet this, you know. A lot of different possibilities but you know just feeling real good here just you know keeping my fingers crossed that i'm gonna get paid off big on this hand because that's what it's all about right now i believe player five is gonna check this and you know the pot was what it like 300 bucks right now so the pot's pretty nice um, you know, it was on me again here. So I checked it really just hoping somebody's going to try to put in a bet here. Uh, I guess pocket Queens could happen, you know, with that queen on the river, but not even really thinking about that at this point, because I'm going to get it all in anyways, even if, even if I'm up against, uh, you know, a set of Queens, you know, a, a full house of Queens here, you know, I'm not, I mean, I'm always all in right here. I'm not going anywhere, you know, trip Queens, you know, getting it on the river would, would be a rough beat, but this guy bet $200 into it. Player five makes the call, okay? Which was so crazy to me because, honestly, I'm, I'm wondering what these guys have, you know? Like, what do they have? Player five was the one who uh, three bet this preflop. So it was likely that he had maybe like pocket kings or aces. Um, maybe ace queen, I guess, and he got the queen on the river. I guess that's possible too. So, I mean, there were some possibilities here, but, you know, I felt like he was really strong. Um, and now I'm just sitting here like, is this really happening? Am I going to get this all in right now? And you know I'm going all in here. I mean, it's only a couple hundred more bucks, uh, you know, or whatever. And, uh, yeah, man, I just, just a crazy hand. So getting it all in here. I think player four is going to fold but player five is going to call us down. Now, player five had to think about it. And, you know, I don't blame him. And when he did make this call, I definitely didn't put him on ace queen. I think he had pocket kings or aces. And, you know, what do you do in this spot? You know what I mean? I feel like there's so much money in it. You know, if you've got aces or kings, the board doesn't look too terrible, honestly. You know, so... It's like, you know, you got a call just to see what the guy has, right? So he is going to make the call on me. And um, bottom line, you know, playing Pocket Jacks preflop, like I said, I'm going to be three betting usually, but we had, uh, you know, player five do it for us. And this hand was just absolutely crazy. So he calls. I don't get to see what he had, unfortunately, but we took down a monster pod right there, and it was like 800 bucks for the win. Okay, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you know, feel free to comment below. Please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more poker videos, and we'll see you in the next one.